You only have a few more hours to register for the primary happening in just a few weeks. And today, a statewide policy, election policy regarding absentee ballots was tossed out. What it means for voters. Plus, a recent poll shows the U.S. Supreme Court's approval rating has dropped to a new low. And President Biden announcing new executive action on climate change as extreme heat and wildfires rage here at home and also across Europe. You're watching News 3 Now at 5. If you're heading down to concert town this square tonight, maybe pack a cold beverage or have some way to stay cool. It's still pretty sticky out there. Julian Seawright joins us live from downtown Madison on the Capitol and Square. And it is a warm but also a beautiful day here on the square for us. As we can see, the blankets are out. The people are here as well. We're getting things rolling for us. Now, as we take a look at what we're going to be expecting throughout the rest of this evening and a little bit of ahead for today, well, folks, we're looking for today or this evening to be on the toastier side, but we can see the cloud cover is still sticking around just a bit here. Our almanac is showing around 83 degrees was our high for today, so we were near seasonable for us here around this time of year, which is normally around 82 degrees. Now, as we take a look at temperatures around southern Wisconsin, 84 degrees for our friends in Janesville, 82 in Platteville, so the 80s are really having us in a chokehold here in southern Wisconsin. But as we take a look at our dew points, that's what we all care about is how humid is it really outside? Well, we can feel it, but it's not overly humid. However, our friends over to Platteville, it's still a bit feeling like Florida for us. Now, as we take a look at our radar, we are seeing a couple of spot up showers, mainly to the northeast, just outside of the Dells. But for us, well, we're staying dry, and that's going to be the theme for us as we go into the rest of tonight. Now, as we take a look at what else we're going to be seeing just ahead, our evening planner, the cloud cover is looking to phase out for us and temperatures will start to mild out into the mid 70s by the time we get into tonight and the starry night will be in hold as well. But folks, one thing we are going to be talking about, we have an alert day in the forecast for us. And as for Saturday, so we're going to be seeing some scattered storms starting to develop that could be bringing in some heavy, high winds and some heavy rain. We'll talk more in detail about this coming up in a few moments. Until then, let's toss it back to you guys in the studio. All right, Julian, thank you. Today is the last day Wisconsin residents can register early for the August primary. If you were hoping to get an absentee ballot by mail, it is the last day you can register for one. You will have to mail it back or return it to the clerk's office since all of the ballot boxes in the state are no longer in use. To register, follow the link in the story on our homepage at channel3000.com. If you missed today's deadline, you can still register in person at your polling place on August 9th. Six Wisconsin Republicans have decided to toss a statewide policy that allowed election workers to fix certain things on absentee ballots. An oversight committee for state agencies made that decision this afternoon. The original Elections Commission rule let local officials fill in missing address information on the backs of absentee ballot envelopes, but that is now no longer allowed. Our political reporter, Will Keneally, has more on what that means for you, the voter. Will? So the WEC wanted to create a uniform rule for absentee ballot envelopes with missing information. For example, if your witness forgot to fill out their zip code, a clerk could add that information based on your witness's voter registration information. But the committee voted along party lines today, six to four, to block that rule. Republicans say that that guidance disregarded state law, but Democrats disagreed. This is, this is absolute absurdity what we're doing today. The WEC has presented us with a, the solution to the problem, and we're, we're falling back on political jargon. Oh, the governor vetoed these two bills. That would have solved the problem. They wouldn't have solved the problem. So Wisconsin's election administration is run by more than 1,000 local clerks, and today's vote will mean that it will likely be up to them to interpret state law without any broad guidance from the Elections Commission or the legislature. We could also see this end up in the courts. So what does that mean for you? Be careful to fill out all required information on your absentee ballot and check in with your municipal clerk if you have any questions. Well, thank you. America's approval of the U.S. Supreme Court is falling. That's according to a new Marquette Law School poll. The approval number has fallen to 38 percent. It is a massive decline compared to the 66 percent rating the high court had in 2020. The poll was taken soon after the court's recent ruling that overturned 
overturned Roe v. Wade. Data also found nearly two-thirds of Americans oppose that decision versus the 36 percent who favor it. Madison police believe two acts of vandalism targeting religious organizations this month are connected and tonight they're asking for your help to figure out who did it. This was the first one we knew about at St. Bernard Catholic Church on Atwood. It happened sometime overnight between July 1st and 2nd. The messages included pro-choice and anti-police phrases. Sometime that same night, vandals also hit the Abundant Life Christian School not far away on Buckeye Road. Madison police supplied these pictures to us. The graffiti was the same color, had similar messages, which leads MPD to believe they're looking for the same suspects for both. We have people who were happy with it, and then you have people who are devastated by it, who are worried by it, angered by it. And I think it's just important to remember that we all have the right to voice how we feel regarding those decisions. It's just we ask that you do that in a respectful manner. An MPD spokesperson tells us they don't think it's an inside job, but they're looking into all possibilities. Police are particularly interested in anyone with video doorbell footage from nearby to come forward. If you have any information, you're asked to call Crime Stoppers 608-266-6014. As much of the country experiences a scorching heat wave, today President Biden laid out new executive actions on climate change. While visiting a manufacturing facility for offshore wind energy projects, the president announced new plans to boost the industry. He also announced executive action to help communities and low-income Americans deal with extreme weather. For the first time, states will be able to use federal funds to pay for air conditioners in homes, set up community cooling centers in schools where people can get through these extreme heat crises. The Biden administration is also prioritizing and enforcing workplace safety during extreme heat. And today, the president warned Congress if they won't act, he will. President Biden is facing yet another roadblock after West Virginia, West Virginia Senator Joe Manchin said he couldn't support climate provisions in the Democratic spending package because of concerns with costs and inflation. Two organizations in Rock County hope to ensure Christmas comes early this year. They're calling it Christmas in July, and while the gifts aren't flashy toys or games, Caitlin Davis shows us they're needed now more than ever. Debbie Fisher can show you a stockpile of shampoo, deodorant, and toothbrushes, but she wants to see that pile grow. It's something that they constantly need. Fisher helps run Youth to Youth for Change in Rock County. They're teaming up with SSM Health this month to collect supplies for families with kids in need. They got food stamps, you know, EBIT cards, um, but you can't buy deodorant, soap, toothbrushes, toothpaste with it. Donation bins appeared at St. Mary's Hospital and the SSM Health Dean Medical Group, Janesville, East Clinic on July 11th. Those are fitting locations given SSM is involved, but also for a deeper meaning, hoping good hygiene now will help people stay out of the hospital and clinics in the future. And so it's not only helping people after they've become sick, it's helping people preventing them from becoming sick. Students with Youth to Youth for Change are leading the collection efforts. Fisher says those students heard about specific hygiene needs from people facing poverty and homelessness during the pandemic. It's something that they constantly need and again, with the rising costs in groceries, and this is something that they don't get help with, it's something that's just will continually be needed. The collection drive isn't just about physical health, though. Yeah, this is important for mental health. I mean, even when you think about kids, you know, not having clean clothes, not having something to wash themselves or brush their teeth. And when that's provided to them, their grades are better, they go to school more, they feel happier. Creating a trickle-down effect throughout Rock County one that organizers hopes will grow into a current of hope for the people they serve. Partners in the community have access to people that we don't because normally we have to wait for patients to come here, but here's a way for us to reach out before anyone's a patient. SSM Health St. Mary's in Janesville has bins available for donations at the entrance and the chapel. You can also donate by visiting their website. The drive lasts through next Monday, July 25th. Well, the Wisconsin Chamber Orchestra will perform its fourth concert on the square in less than two hours. And tonight's theme is the planets and Ho-Chunk. News Tree Now this morning's, what's the name of this person? Leah Linshide. I don't really know Leah. Is it Leah, Leah Linshide? Am I pronouncing your name right, Leah? 
Frankie, when's the last time you stayed, or you woke up early enough to see me on the news? <laughs> You think about that. You think about that. Hi, Susan and Eric. Yes, we are down here on the beautiful Capitol Square. I'm a little starstruck. I get to speak with the maestro of the Wisconsin Chamber Orchestra, Mr. Andrew Sewell. Thank you so much for talking with That's us. It's great to be back again for our fourth concert on the square. Welcome. We have some neat features this evening. We have some special guests. I'd love to talk to you first about the Wisconsin Dells Singers and mm -hmm. Dancers Troupe. It sounds like it's going to be quite the performance. This is a program that's been two years in the making uh, because of COVID, and we finally got it here. It's called the Ho Chunk and the Planets. So it's combining uh, traditional songs and dances of the Ho Chunk Nation with uh, works by Gustav Holst, an English composer that wrote the planets back in 1914. We're doing three movements of the planets, Jupiter, Mars, and Mercury. Very neat. And I want to talk a little bit about the troupe. Mm -hmm. uh, you worked on these pieces for mm -hmm. three years with the lead singer, Elliot Funmaker. Mm -hmm. What can we expect tonight? Well, a couple of the works uh, with uh, arranged for orchestra. So this is unusual because typically they sing just with drums and singing. And so uh, I've orchestrated one of them and another gentleman, Jim Latimer, had already done one for the Soldier Chief song. So we're combining the two traditions, Western music orchestra with the Ho-Chunk. And that's part of the collaboration and part of the bringing of the two cultures together, which is very exciting. We would be remiss if we didn't mention how important the history, the culture, the acknowledgement of land for the mm -hmm. Ho-Chunk Nation is tonight. Tell me a little bit about the song, The Dejo. The Dejo song. Yes. Uh, these songs, uh, Elliot Funmaker is the lead singer and he's a composer as well. And so a lot of the songs are his own compositions. And so uh, this one is about the nature of uh, welcome and that this is the land of their ancestors. So Dejo celebrates that. Uh, and there is a second song I'm particularly excited about, the Marine Corps song. Tell yes. us briefly about that. That one is based upon the warriors, so it, it, it commemorates the warriors, uh, both World War One, World War Two veterans, etc., but also the, the warriors uh, of, of the Ho Chunk. So, and then the last one is the Soldier Chief, Soldier Bear, which honors um, uh, Elliot's uh, father, actually, who's a famous person. That's beautiful. Okay, one last tidbit that I learned while talking to Maestro Sewell here. So one of the pieces on the planets uh, only has seven planets mentioned. That's right. Uh, so when, when Gustav Holtz wrote this in 1914, they had not yet discovered Pluto, which was a planet, then wasn't a planet, then was a planet. So uh, we, we, we leave out Pluto. But uh, Neptune, that's, that's another story. But I think what the audience is going to find really exciting tonight is that the, the Mars uh, is, 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 is like a throwback to Star Wars. Ah. And John Williams would have used that theme when he was com composing that music. It's, it's very influential and uh, I think the audience is really going to enjoy it. How neat. We are so excited for the performance. I'm so honored to be a part of it. Thank you so much for taking a couple of minutes to talk to us. Absolutely. Thank you. Now you folks know the concert is free. It starts right around 7. I think there are still some spots on the grass for you to set up your blanket. We also see plenty of space for your chairs. If you come down, please come say hi to Julian Seawright and I. We're sitting down here for the rest of the evening, Eric and Susan. Leah, always good to see you. She's got her whole family down there tonight checking out the show. So I do. good to see us <laughs> working opposite shifts. Leah, thank you. Next at 5, we'll check back in with Julian. He's also at the Capitol with his latest forecast. Plus, heat waves continue to impact dozens of countries across Europe and nearly one-third of the U.S. And the first European soccer match at Lambeau Field is just days away. How fans and businesses around Green Bay are preparing, that's coming up tonight at 6. And again, the markets end the day in positive terrain. The Dow up almost 48 points, and as that climbs 184 and a half, the S&P gains 23, and we're back after a short break. Chevy Silverado. It's got the power you want and the capability you need to do the job so you can get to the important work. Find new moments, find new roads. Enjoy the open road and make no monthly payments for the rest of summer on all Silverado pickups. Plus, get 2.49% financing when you finance with GM Financial. Chevrolet, the number one selling brand in Wisconsin. Don't miss your chance to save big money on patio furniture at Menards. We have the latest patio furniture options in stock, ready to take home today. Dine in style with an outdoor dining set or relax and unwind at a cozy bistro table. Menards is your one-stop shop with all of the latest patio furniture styles at the lowest prices. Hurry in. These deals won't last long. Get 11% off all outdoor patio furniture now at Menards. 
Hi, I'm Clint Slosher. This is Slosher Farms, and this is my John Deere. We're a 100% corn and bean operation. We're right around 4,000 acres. The top three reasons why we do business with Sloan's would be the service, uh, the people, and the, the, just the name itself is a, a good warranty behind it. Uh, you will be taken care of, and they'll be straightforward with you from the beginning. And this is why I thank Sloan's first. It's Daily Deals from Hy-Vee. This Thursday, Doritos, only $1.88. Hy-Vee Single Serve Coffee, only $2.99. Buy one, get one free on Smithfield Marinated Pork Loin. And buy one, get one free on Mia Italian Take and Bake Flatbread. Thursday only. And save even more during Red, White, and Fuel. Right now, save up to $7.21 per gallon with your Hy-Vee Fuel Saver Plus Perks card. And visit hyveedeals.com for even more deals. Hi, I'm Tom Nelson, Ottagami County Executive Candidate for the U.S. Senate, and I approve this message. Democrats like me, not from Master Milwaukee, have a whole different approach. We have a different touch. A different cast. Oh, we read good books. Not the biggest pocketbooks. I've won six times in Trump country. I'm pulling for what matters. Jobs, Medicare for all, union rights, women's rights, a plan in a crisis. I'll fight the extremism in Washington by pulling for all Wisconsin. New at 6, absentee ballots might be blocked. We expose how a potential new policy could get your vote thrown out. Then cyber attacks are on the rise. The FBI discloses to News 3 now security measures you can take to be safe from hackers. That's tonight at 6. Concerts on the Square are back each Wednesday night through August 3rd. Enjoy a performance by the Wisconsin Chamber Orchestra with family and friends at this totally free event starting at 7 p.m. Learn more at wcoconcerts.org. Watching News 3 Now at 5. Ten rare wildfires burned across London. That's right, London, as the London Fire Brigade saw its busiest day since World War II. On the same day, the country shattered the record for its hottest day in known history, 40.3 degrees Celsius. It's about 104 degrees Fahrenheit. Families fled their burning neighborhoods, in some cases, leaving everything behind. This level of extreme weather is uh, life-threatening, and we really want to make sure that people are not under any illusion that this is serious and this is here to stay for the foreseeable future. In Greece, police ran door-to-door -door shouting at residents to flee just north of Athens. French firefighters are now in their ninth straight day battling blazes twice the size of Paris and deaths are still rising in Spain and Portugal. Meanwhile, nearly one third of the U.S. is feeling the heat today with above normal temperatures reaching even the northernmost states. That's some 120 million Americans. In New York, residents are finding creative ways to battle the heat. In Dallas, temperatures reached 108 degrees, prompting cooling centers to open all across the city. This is by my 12th and 13th box. We're doing wellness checks and really trying to get them to drink more water. Dangerously high temperatures and drought conditions are also generating devastating wildfires in the U.S. Nationwide, approximately 85 fires are burning in 13 states, charring more than 3 million acres. It wasn't that warm here today, but will we get warmer in the days ahead? Meteorologist Julian Seawright is downtown on the Capitol Square. Great place to be tonight. Hi, Julian. That's right, it is a great place to be for us for tonight. And it's awesome because everywhere else in the country is dealing with that heat. And that's just something to really just be sobered and humbled about is that we don't have to deal with that as of right now. But we will start to see some warmer days ahead, especially as humidity looks to climb back as we get into the back end of the work week. But as we take a look at some of our graphics right now here at Constance on the Square, that's right, we're going to be seeing temperatures into those lower 80s throughout the majority of today. It's still going to be a little humid, but not overly disgusting. Now, as that cold front has swept its way through and lower dew points throughout much of the upper Midwest, which is a good thing because it was definitely pretty miserable over the last couple of days for us. Now, as we take a look at what else we're going to be seeing moving on, well, we are going to be looking at a bit more of that dry trend throughout tonight and carrying into our Thursday as well. However, just take notes. As we get into our Thursday morning, we are going to see, once again, some more milder conditions. Temperatures into those mid-60s. By the time we get into lunchtime, we'll already be into those lower 80s. 
80s, and the evening side will warming back up into those upper 80s. So just be prepared for another warm and hot day for us here in southern Wisconsin. Now, as we transition into the later part of our Thursday, we'll cool back down, but we are going to be looking at another system to be bringing in some chances of some rain, and that's just going to be the start of it, folks, because as we get into our Friday, it's where we're going to be looking at things to start to change course, as we have an alert day in the forecast, and this is specifically for Saturday, but we could see some things firing off into our Friday nights. Scattered th uh, thunderstorms are going to be developing for us. High winds and heavy rain are going to be the main threats for any kind of strong or even severe storms that we could be seeing, but we have a marginal risk in place for central and southern Wisconsin throughout our Friday, but our event in itself is what we're really going to be honing in on. It's going to be Friday night. Going into Saturday, we have a good probability of seeing some storms starting to fire off again for that area, central and southern Wisconsin, and even for the northernmost areas of Illinois as well. So that's what we're going to be watching for. And from our future track, we're looking from Saturday early evening into our Saturday nights to be the big event for us to start to see some showers and storms to start to fire off. So we get into our early Sunday morning that starts to taper off, and we're looking for it to start to phase out just a bit, but still, we are looking for brief periods of sunshine, but some periods of seeing some soggy conditions as well. Now, in terms of the rainfall, the good news is we do definitely need it. It's been a week of really dry and humid conditions, but we haven't had a lot of rain. So we are looking for some good uh, soaking throughout much of southern Wisconsin for us as we get through these events for this weekend. Now, as we take a look, Saturday is going to be a hot one, and that is also our alert day. But for next week, after that cold front passes through, we do have chances of seeing showers and storms, but temperatures will go back to more sustainable into those lower 80s. So that's going to be the good news and definitely the silver lining after this weekend. Unfortunately, we couldn't bring the storms into earlier into the week, but hey, it's going to be one of those times where we just need the rain. It's definitely going to have to just be prepared for seeing some storms as well. That's going to do it for here, but let's go ahead and tell us the best to you guys. All right, Julian, have fun down there tonight. Thank you. If you're going out in the heat, staying hydrated is critical, but how much water our bodies need depends on some important factors. General guidelines say men need about 15 cups of fluid a day and women need about 11. But dietitians say it's not the same for everyone. How much water your body needs depends on your weight, your gender, how active you are, what medications you're on, and even what climate you live in. Experts say older people need to pay attention to their fluid intake. As we age, we actually do, you know, lose our sense of thirst a little bit. So it's important for, yeah, the older adults to definitely be more mindful um, of, of how much they're drinking because they don't sense that. Experts recommend starting the day with a cup or a, or a water bottle and just keep filling it up throughout the day. They also say coffee, tea, and flavored waters do count toward your overall total fluid intake. Fruits and vegetables can also help with your hydration. Coming up on this important date in space history, NASA eyes another lunar landing. The details next at 5. News 3 Now First Warn Weather is brought to you by Lazy Boy Home Furnishings and Decor. Discover a shopping and design experience as comfortable as the furniture. Lazy Boy Home Furnishings and Decor. Schedule your free design consultation today. Some ideas seem good, but aren't. These guys will buy our house without even seeing it. Online buyers make offers that seem attractive at first, only to lower or cancel at the last minute. We Buy Ugly Houses won't reduce or cancel our firm cash offers before closing. Call or click to sell quick. At USA Insulation, we fix hot homes. Over 7 out of 10 homes are poorly insulated. Is yours? Here are some of the signs. Is your house too cold in the winter? Is it too hot in the summer? Does your furnace and AC run almost nonstop? Do you have different temperatures in different rooms? Are your energy bills too high? You don't need a new home. You need better insulation. And right now, when we foam your walls, we'll insulate your attic for free. USA Insulation. Chevy Silverado. It's got the power you want. And the capability you need to do the job. So you can get to the important work. Find new moments. Find new roads. Enjoy the open road and make no monthly payments for the rest of summer on all Silverado pickups. Plus, get 2.49% financing when you finance with GM Financial. Find new roads at your local Chevy dealer. Before treating your chronic migraine, 15 or more headache days a month, each lasting four hours or more, you're not the only one with questions about Botox. 
Botox prevents headaches in adults with chronic migraine before they even start, with about 10 minutes of treatment once every three months. So ask your doctor if Botox is right for you and if a sample is available. Effects of Botox may spread hours to weeks after injection, causing serious symptoms. Alert your doctor right away as difficulty swallowing, speaking, breathing, eye problems, or muscle weakness can be signs of a life-threatening condition. Side effects may include allergic reactions, neck and injection site pain, fatigue, and headache. Don't receive Botox if there's a skin infection. Tell your doctor your medical history, muscle or nerve conditions, and medications, including botulinum toxins, as these may increase the risk of serious side effects. In a survey, 92% of current users said they wish they talked to their doctor and started Botox sooner. Plus, right now, you may pay $0 for Botox. Learn how AbbVie could help you save on Botox. I want to share my story so others can know that they are not alone. When my mom and dad were first expecting, the pregnancy had complications and there was very little chance of survival. My mom's health was at risk too. She chose to end the pregnancy. It was my decision, not some politicians. Every woman should have the right to make her own decision. And I'll fight alongside you every step of the way until you do. I'm Mandela Barnes, and I approve this message. Some ideas seem good, but aren't. Maybe she could sell her house. What could go wrong? Like listing your house, then dealing with all the trouble, expense, not to mention closing costs. We Buy Ugly Houses can buy your house fast for all cash as is with no hassle. Call or click to sell quick. A landmark anniversary date in American history. Today marks 53 years since the first moon landing. Apollo 11 became the first manned spacecraft to land on the moon. It was July 20th of 1969. Neil Armstrong, of course, uttered the famous words, that's one small step for man, one giant leap for mankind. And an estimated 600 million people were watching that broadcast worldwide. NASA is now trying to go back to the moon with its Artemis missions. Eventually, the plan is to land the first woman and the first person of color on the moon. NASA says says it's targeting the end of August or the beginning of September for the first uncrewed test flight, which would circle the moon and then splash back down to Earth a few weeks later. Now, the goal is to get back to the moon with people on board by 2025. Well, there's still time to take your shot at the Mega Millions jackpot. It's now at $630 million. Nobody won last night. Nobody matched all six numbers. So when the prize, that was when the prize was a mere $555 million. It, that was the fifth largest jackpot in the lottery history. Well, now it's even bigger. The next drawing will be Friday night. A winner would get a lump sum of $360 million, which in Wisconsin would have an after-tax value of $200 million. We'll be right back. I'm Tim Michaels. Commanding the Tomb of the Unknown Soldier was an honor beyond measure. America is a miracle of countless sacrifices from unknown patriots. Honoring that is our duty. But today, America is under attack by radicals trying to tear down everything that makes America great. This is a fight we cannot lose. I'm Tim Michaels. I'm running for governor to help save the America that those before saved for us. You can join Planet Fitness for $1 down, $10 a month, cancel anytime. That's an easy path to a fresh frame of mind. It's why you don't see a stationary bike, you see an avenue to more energy. And it's why you don't just see a treadmill, you see a fast lane to more confidence. So while you see tons of equipment in the judgment-free zone, you'll also see endless ways to get glowing and feel fitacular. Is this place, I tell you? Join Planet Fitness for $1 down, $10 a month, cancel anytime. Deal ends Wednesday, July 20th. It was a dream. I knew it was going to be a lot of work, but I knew that the passion was going to make it not seem like work. Jupaca was really there for me, helping me kind of gain financial literacy, everything from the business loan to setting up the LLC. Jupaco really was, was a great guide and, and a resource for me getting this whole entire project off the ground. There's been a couple of classes when I'll walk in, and especially when it's the busy room and I, I start to get choked up. Those are the days when it's like, this is what I was supposed to do. How do you use your energy? 
hitting the ball farther than yesterday, fielding whatever comes your way, trying to shine as bright as the sun. At Alliant Energy, we bring more clean, renewable energy to our customers every single day to power what matters to you. Because even during the most powerful moments in our lives, we're not thinking about power, we're thinking about each other. Alliant Energy, powering beyond. And my economic plan is moving this country in a better direction. What planet is he living on? Record gas prices. 40-year high inflation. Costing Wisconsin families over eight grand a year. Sorry, Joe. That's the wrong direction. Here on planet Earth, Senator Johnson voted against Biden's massive deficit spending that sparked inflation. And he passed tax cuts to help Wisconsin families survive the economic turmoil caused by Democrats. I'm Ron Johnson, and I approve this message. Coming up on this busy news day, over 100 million Americans are facing excessive heat warnings as cities declare emergencies. And the Texas power grid is pushed to the limit after suffering 40 days of triple digit temperatures. Plus the baby formula crisis worsens as powdered formula has reached the lowest supply this year. We talked to concerned parents and how one special summer camp is helping these children heal. That's all tonight on the CBS Evening News. And we'll be back in 30 minutes for News 3 Now at 6.